So I was sitting in this coffee house, and this old man at the table next to me struck up a conversation. He said you had an amazing story. Let's see then, where to begin? I was born and raised in one of the most beautiful places on earth. It was a time filled with wonder that I'll always remember. But when my family chose to move our zoo halfway around the world, that is when my greatest journey began. I want to begin actually by starting at the end because there's a great line in the movie that I loved, which I think is, uh, all of life is an act of letting go. And with this being your first big acting experience, at the end of the day, when you had to walk away from this, what was the hardest thing to let go of? The crew. Why is that? Uh, we became so close to, we became like a family, you know, we spent all this time together. We basically took over this airport and made that our office, plus the tank, the sets, the stages, everything was there. So we literally did everything together, the, the, the how many ever, 300, 400 of us, became so close, we became like a family. We were there for 10 months, we went to Taiwan, none of us had ever been to Taiwan. and. We just became this close, close-knit family, you know. Everybody taught everybody else something. We were all going through this intense, you know, spiritually, emotionally, physically, just draining journey. It was very intense. And in that, we became so close. And then, you know, when you finally have to let go, you just can't. Yeah, you don't want to. Are you, are you still in touch with, uh, yeah, with anyone? Yeah, a lot of them, yeah. Excellent, excellent. You and I are gonna be friends after this, I'm assuming. <laughs> this is gonna be an emotional interview, I'm just telling you. Um, but, uh, you know, this, this performance of yours is nothing short of incredible, and especially because a lot of the time you were on your own, it was just you, and you had to use your imagination so much. So I'm gonna talk about the first time that you actually saw the finished film. What was the biggest difference between what you imagined to be there versus what you ended up seeing in the final film? Well, you know, when we were shooting, everything was just blue. Mm -hmm. Like the walls were blue, the water was blue, everything was blue, and you had a vague idea of what it was. You know, Ang never really explained, he does. Obviously, he does explain what you're seeing, but more than that, he explains what you're feeling when you're seeing that. So it's really about what you're feeling, not about what you're seeing. So whatever I imagined was great, but when you finally see that, oh my, you, you can't imagine, I can't imagine something like that. It, 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 it kind of blew my mind. I, I, you know, I'd imagined something, but this was so much more, you know, that was so much beauty, and Ang is a genius. He is, he is, we were talking about that before. So. So in a way, we kind of had similar experiences seeing the film for the first time, because even though you were in it, you didn't know what to expect, kind of like I didn't know what to expect going in. So that had to be an interesting experience just yeah. for that. You know, I, I walked, so I watched the, the film for the first, I'd never seen any of it. So I watched the first film one day before the New York Film Fest with uh, Jan Martel. I honestly, when I walked in, I didn't know what I was gonna expect. I didn't know what to expect because, you know, I'm, I, I thought it'd be weird watching myself on a screen. It's just strange, but it's just, the crew did a great job. Ang is a genius, you know. Even I, even though I knew what was happening, I got caught in. I started watching it as a movie. I started watching Pious Pie, I, I, and yeah, there was just so much more than what was there when we were shooting that I just got, I, I got blown away. I was speechless at the end, I didn't know what to say. For a lot of uh, readers around the world, this story uh, restored their faith in a lot of things, and, and a lot of people say that this is the kind of story that makes you believe in God. Um, when you when you bring this kind of story to the big screen, do you have that moment that uh, that ever gives you faith in a higher power? I think the real emphasis should be believe. What is belief, and what is a story? What is the power of storytelling? How do we take imaginations, illusions, uh, into our heart? It's not just something you cannot prove, because if you can prove it's not faith, you don't need to take a leap. Um, but rather, s something you can believe in without you know, pro proving it, scientific proof. Imagination is not nothing. You know? It's the deepest and the highest order. Um, that's 
how we relate to God or the unknown, however you want to call it. Uh, and it's emotional too. So that, that's the story we're telling. It's relate to, but we're not church. We're not going to tell right. people well, of course, what to Of course, think. of course. <laughs> Pai has, has so many lessons that he has to, uh, to remind himself and teach himself in this experience. One of the most important being, don't ever give up hope. Don't ever lose hope. When you are filming what a lot of people call the unfilmable book, one of the most complicated films of all time, was there ever that point where you had to just keep reminding yourself, just don't give up hope, don't give up hope? About three to five times a day oh, yeah. <laughs> for the last four years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how, do, how, do you, how do you keep doing that then? How, how, what keeps you from, from losing hope then? I think the movie tells me don't give up because mm -hmm. it's going, the thousands of people work on it. Uh, every day there you know, hundreds of people look at me, what do we do next? Then just naturally, just keep on going. Um, your adrenaline is, is you know, pump up. You're doing your best. It, it's, it's a decision. Once you put yourself into that de decision, the show must go on. Mm -hmm. Something larger that's possess you. Uh, you. You don't. You don't give up until it's done, which is a week and a half ago. Oh yeah, I'm and sure. I, yeah. I started collapse. So now you can finally <laughs> nothing, actually breathe. Nothing holds me anymore. <laughs> nothing support me. I was like, oh. This journey that Pi goes on is obviously such a, a spiritual, emotional, physical journey, and, and it's a life-changing experience. And so it, it has to, to give you some sort of life perspective to, to be the one that actually goes on that journey. Was, was there a difference between maybe how you looked at life from day one versus how you looked at life on the last day of, of oh, yeah. onset? Oh yeah, complete, complete change. You know, I, there were so many things that I did for the first time. Actually, it was even the first time I'd come out of the country, first time I'd met so many people from so many different parts of the world, so many different skills. I'd seen the set for the first time, the fire, the passion, Ang working is just amazing to watch. You know, these people working in such sync, such, it's just so much like a well-oiled machine. Everybody does their part. And even though it's so different, it's all together, comes together at this, 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 even for like three seconds of film. Mm -hmm. And it was just so amazing, you know. I, I, for the first time, worked hard. That was the first time I really wanted to work. I felt so passionate about the whole thing. It became, for me and the crew, everybody kind of went on this journey parallel to Pi. It, it, was, it was very, very intense. I'm sure, I'm sure. And I was, I was telling you before, I'm, I'm a big baby and I cried my way through a majority of this movie. You know, it is in, in a very emotional film. Do you allow yourself, is, is it possible for you to see yourself on, on screen and still get emotional even though that's you? I mean, can you cry at yourself? Well, I tried not to. <laughs> but right at the end, you know, I, you know, I, I, I did that. It was, I, 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 had, I had to go through those emotions. So there was one scene where where I just remembered how I felt when I was doing it, and yeah, I, I cried. Well, if you and I watch it, you will, we'll, we'll cry together, man. We'll cry <laughs> on each other's shoulder. It's truly an honor to sit across from you, man. The movie is nothing short of a masterpiece, so, so thank you very much for your time, thank man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Take care, all right? I love this idea of, of Pi later on in life telling this great adventure, this great story of his life. Later on down the road, if you were gonna sit down with a writer and like tell your great story, which filmmaking experience provi would provide the best story to sit down and tell a writer? Well, it's a bit, for this one, oh, there's so many. Mm -hmm. um, I will say the work with Sudej. I can say it about creating a tiger and also working with Sudej, uh, these two things will probably stand the most. How to learn tiger behavior from the tiger trainer. How to take a tiger as references. How to shoot them. How to create them in a post. And then work with this incredible young man that's reliable, soulful, give everything. Day in, day out, months after months, like not even get sick or injured. <laughs> and go through the same journey as the movie goes. That's incredible. 
I will say another thing is working with water. Uh, that's that's humbling experience. It's so difficult from creating real flotation for the boat to uh, digital create them for the bigger pictures. Uh, that that is a humbling, very educational uh, story for me. That happened to me.